Hi guys, welcome back to another Steam free to play walkthrough. Today we have Gun Witch. We've already played Shotgun Bullet Hell Witch. Now we got a 2D action art platformer. As always, I'll leave a link to the game in the description. If you want to try it for yourself and if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Finally, I've made it to Lunin Sula. I can't wait to get my, started with my training and become a real witch. I should press F to advance the text. Thank you. Huh? That was weird. Anyways. So we're breaking the fourth wall, huh? Uh, the new girl is here. Howdy, my name's Beretta. Are you the one who's supposed to pick me up? Yes, I believe so. My name is Claire, and I'm the class representative of Redwood Academy. Please follow me to school. You can press your left and right keys to move and space to jump. Excellent! How's delivery? Also, um, up to you, stores. Okay, that's... Yeah, please hurry up or we'll be late. Wait, where is the school again? It's pretty close from here. Just go to the right until you see an imposing building. If you don't remember what I said, you can just press Q to check your quest log. You can also press Escape to access the main menu and other some other options. If you need to close my men any menu, oh, door. close any menu windows, just press. You just need to press the same button again or press Escape. Oh, all right. All right. As you can tell, I've just woken up and I'm struggling. Is this the imposing building? Oh, look at this shallow monk dude. Oh, back in my day, we used to have better relations with those people up north. Oh, what's up north, you say? Ha ha ha! I'm under strict orders from Faye Vivian not to tell you whippersnappers anything. Okay, dude. Alright, dude. Get out of my way, I'm busy. Alright. Here we are. I'm glad you found it. That's... It's a small school, but it's nice. I know that this is your first day and all, but Professor Shirley assigned us... already assigned us work. Don't worry, Claire. I can handle it. I know, I know. I believe you. But you better convince Professor Shirley, too. She wants us to go to the peaceful wood and practice our magic by killing ten snails. I can also help it, it, if you'd like. It's fine, I got this. Let me warm up my magic real quick, though. Oh, yes, I forgot to tell you. You should press A to use magic. Like this? <gasps> I've never seen someone with a gun type attack before. That's sure interesting. Maybe avoid Faye Vivian, though. She's real particular about those technology inspired magics. The hell is Vi Faye Vivian, and why should I care? He's the headmaster of this school and the leader of our entire village. She doesn't like to be trash talked. Oh shoot, I don't want to get kicked out after I just got here. I'll be back after I kill those snails. Don't forget, you can use Q to check your quest log and see your progress. Okay, I will. Make sure to press Q a lot, Miss Claire. If you're ever at a loss of what to do, just press Q. <laughs> oh man, my magic runs out awfully quickly. Alright, you can heal your MP faster if you're out of combat for a couple of seconds. Don't ask me how it works, because I don't know either. Something about shooting or being hit, I think. Alright, what's this dude doing before we go? There's a Faith Vivian so mysterious. I've been looking into her for past four decades, but I still know almost nothing about the woman or his sister. I need to turn this down a little bit for you guys. Might be a little bit loud. Don't know. I don't know, because I can't hear it. Ha 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 ha. Hello. Get back to work. Okay. Weird. Alright, snail killing time. Let's do this. Oh my god, my bullets stray like crazy, dog. My AP does fade rather quickly. That uh, plays pretty nice. I don't think this is going to be a very challenging game. I like the RPG aspects of getting XP, that's pretty neat. And I'm all level up, that's pretty nice. I wonder if I get a better gun. Okay, dude, you need to get off the- oh my god, get off the- oh, this dude's a camper. Oh my god. What's the jump key? Oh, you freaking- You done goof, son. Oh wow, my damage went up a ton when I leveled up, boy. I don't think my bullets did anything different, but hey. This is pretty neat, I like this. I like this a lot so far. Did I kill enough spells? Q to figure it out. Oh, this dude's gonna die. I don't care about the other ones too much, but he gotta die for being a camper. A camper. Boy, no mercy. That's super cool, dude. 
I like how the vendors respond really quick too. I can just level up like crazy out here, but I'm not trying to farm. The bosses wouldn't be easy if I farmed. Kill him. I'm gonna kill him. The redwood. Hey, yo, girl. I did it. Well, Brenda, that was really quick. I just barely finished. What can I say? I guess I have a knack for these things. <laughs> I'm a bit jealous. Oh, look, here comes a professor. Good evening, kids, or is it morning? Oh, whatever, it doesn't matter. Anyone, everyone, he, oh, oh, everyone, we have a new student today. Hey, kid, go introduce yourself. Hurry up. Hi, everyone, my name's Beretta, and I'll be your classmate starting today. I hope we can get along. Nice job, Beretta. I was very moved. Who the hell is this dumbass, and what is she doing in our school? They must be related, truly. <laughs> hey, rude, watch your mouth, potty girl. I can say whatever I want. You're not, you're the one barging into school acting like you owed the damn place. It, it's good, please. She just got into the, uh, the school by her own accord. I bet she snuck in using human technology or, or something. Yeah, I got it fair square. What is your prize solely or something? Stupid twin tails. I saw her magic too. It's a gut of all things. She's as human as it gets. It, it's good. You just can't say that. Oh. You know Faye Vivian's stance on these things. Girls, girls, calm down. Beretta, please come talk to me after to take your evaluation. Please, Faye Vivian, get me out of this hellhole. The hell is an evaluation? I didn't come to this graduate school to take stupid math tests. They're like, um, aptitude tests that determine your rate of growth upon level up. Are we in an RPG or something? Yes. Something like that. Anyways, Let's just go talk to Professor Shirley. Alright, you talked me into it. But yeah, it feels super rewarding so far. I've already leveled up twice. I like it. Hello, Bretta. I'm sorry for the rough welcome. Please take a seat over there. Uh, I swear, if I get asked about the height of a random ass <laughs> triangle one more time. Shoot, we're out of ink. Does anyone fund this damn school anymore? Bretta, if you would be so kind, could you please... Ask Iska for more ink. I heard. Is it Iska the Witch of Ink, ink Witch or something? She's one of Redwood Academy's very bright the brightest. And she likes to write down all her spells and formulas. So, so, and she's so happy. <laughs> she happens to have a lot of ink. God dang, Ink Witch. Squid. Why she has the twin, twi twin tails. Oh, look what the cat dragged in. Can you not? I just need some ink, dude. Well, okay, I have one extra bottle. Don't spill it, or we might run out of ink for good. Can't you just buy more, some more or magic it up? This is special ink, so it costs a lot of magic to create. We don't use the filthy human creations. Our ink never fades, it's water resistant, and changes colors to your, suit your taste. It can turn invisible. Okay, okay, I get it. Dumb humans can't understand our ways. <laughs> I'm sorry I came off this harsh. I just... I haven't seen a human in such a long time, I get startled easily, okay? <laughs> it's okay. Thanks, Iska. I'll go get, a, get to this to the professor. The professor. Don't worry too much about Iska. She's a bit stringent, but she means well. I think I understand. No worries. She's in there. We know. Here's the test. Just answer the questions to the best of your abilities. Uh, fine, okay. God. Okay, let's see. So based on your evaluation report, you have decent potential. Very cool, Professor Shirley. When are we getting back to the practical lessons? More snails to kill. Oh yeah, one more thing. I can't read this book about controls or something. Uh -huh. Use Q to open your quest log, W to see the world map, E to show all your items, and R for stats and skills. Come talk to me when you're done. And don't also don't forget to press escape so you can save. Although, we do have autosave after every quest. Wow. Can I get new- Aw, oh, level 5. Oh, that's exciting. Professor Shirley wants me to read? Anyway, I just need to press- make sure to press QWER and open all my menus. This is a dope game so far. The graphics are obviously not the greatest, but... Pixel art's good. I mean, the sprites are good. <laughs> okay, I'm done. When are we getting back to practical lessons? Right now, hurry out! Uh, hurry along to your potions class with Professor Lester. Sorry, where's he? 
Oh, I don't know. Just talk to some random people. I'm sure you'll find them. Also, this is just between you and me, but try to get a different type of magic as soon as possible. Favor the end is not a fan of technology magecraft. Uh, whatever. Screw her. I'll shoot her too. Oh, I could probably shoot this, right? No, it doesn't do anything. You magic dude. Is it baby be so mysterious? That's so it's all dude. That's all you had to say, game. Here's the last student. Uh, I forgot your name. My name's Brad. I'm the new student. Is that so? No wonder I didn't recognize you. Okay. Class, we're going to learn healing magic today. Now, um, we need... Uh, excuse me, class. Let me go back to my office. I seem to have forgotten the ingredients. We need snail sails, slime jelly, and slime rot. Thank you. Uh, Cla no, Beretta. Iska. Thank you, Iska. We need 20 snail shells, 5 slam jellies, and 2 slime rot. That should make... be enough to make... <sighs> 5 potions. You can find all those ingredients in the woods and groves. And don't forget, when you need to check your level and other stats, ju you can just press R. Let's go, was that really necessary? Yes, now hurry up and get going. God, they really think I didn't learn the controls. But I guess if you don't do this, you will get that one dude that's like, How do you do it? The game never told me how to do it. I can't do it. That's what that's what some of these people sound like. God dang it. <laughs> Sometimes I'm that person. Not today. How did I check the th I'm doing the thing. I got 14. <laughs> oh. I'm doing it. I need 20 snail shells, and then after that, so we need four more of these. Should be getting a new skill soon, which is super exciting. Yeah! I think I need one more level, and I should get a new. Do, do, do. How did I lose health potion? What happened there? Did I just, like, auto-use one or something? Or does it use one when I level up, which would be tragic? I don't think that's a... Uh, let's just make sure I got all my snail jail dummy things. Ah oh, dang. That's why they keep telling you the controls. Oh look at those huge slimes, boy! Wow! Wow! They've been killing these for days, boy. They're hiding. Yeah, hiding. I'm ready for a boss fight. Oh, it's a bunny. Sorry, Mr. Bunny. That's what you get for being a camper, though. Am I even supposed to go this way, or am I just supposed to keep killing the same, like, four slimes over and over again? Oh, Lord. They haven't reached There we go. Thank you. Your skill learned. Sick. I'm so excited. Let's see. Do. Hold A and charge. Well, I am holding A. And it's not doing. Oh, I got it. Spirit Bomb! That thing tried to jump my Spirit Bomb. Did you see that? Crazy. That's wild. Why would you do such a thing? Oh, you have to charge it. Oh, and you can't... Oh, this attack kind of sucks, actually. Wow. <laughs> and it only hits one thing. It does a ton of damage. Okay, dude. That's useless. I don't care. I don't care how much damage it does. That is, like, actually... Did that thing just hiss at me? Is it tasting my soul? Or, oh, that was the door. Oh, that makes sense. I was like, that's scary side. God, what, Mr. Slime? You can do it. This is a good time to charge this. Go. Oh. Oh. Go now. Oh my god, he's running. We have a runner! Do I need 10 slime jellies? I got the slime rod already, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I need 10 more. Dude, why are you guys always... Why are you guys always grouping around the ladder? It's a real jerk move. And you can't even touch the ladder, so I don't know why you're doing that. for XP while I'm waiting for the stupid slime to respawn. There we go, give me some help. Oh, it's because the slime jellies can open the door too. Where are you trying to go, Mr. Slime Jelly? Can I go through the door? What's in here? 
rabbits, just rabbits. Good bag, just rabbits. I need your jellies. Give them to me. Ah, oh, there we go. Thank gosh. Get out of my way, snails. I'm past this. Hmm. Redwood Academy. going on there, Bretta? Yeah, that looks way better than mine. Uh, it popped a strange bubble. Thank you, Professor. You too, Claire. Mm, mine's pretty good, too. Of course it's good. Of course. Well, look at Bretta's color. I haven't seen the likes of that since, uh... Mm, a while. <laughs> I bet she got just got lucky. Alright, whatever you say, Eska. Yes, here is a health potion. Five of them, in fact. You can press S to use it and heal H 20 HP. Sometimes you'll get lucky and a monster will drop one. The last part wasn't necessary, Professor. Now on to the next task. We need 20 slime jelly. I've brought. 30 snail sails, 10 rabbit furs, and a rabbit head. This should be enough to make 10 potions. I believe you can find the ingredients a little beyond Elysia. But I forgot what the areas were called. Oh my god, are we just like gopher girl? I'm assuming the rabbit head's probably a boss, maybe big rabbit head. I've got how wait, do I need Oh I need a lot of snail shells. God dang. Okay, that's not a great quest design. Uh, uh, not a big fan of farming weak enemies. Maybe there's snails further. Maybe that's what they're telling me. Let's go check. Or they're just trying to level me up for some reason. I'll be right back. I'm gonna check the other places. Ah, uh, never mind. These respawn fast enough. But dang, dude. I wish. Um, what did I wish? Oh. Uh, I could just progress and fight the bosses. I don't need the tutorial anymore. Or these fun quests. These quests suck. <laughs> quests suck. I think I know what was happening with my, es my potions too. I was hitting the S key. I think. I thought that was a 5. Because what comes after 4? S. Obviously. Obviously. <laughs> Simple math. Simple math. Camping snails must die. Alright, what are we at now? What's it say? Wait, isn't that a little brutal? Oh, the game knows. The game's self aware. <laughs> isn't that a little brutal? True. <laughs> How true that is. Ah, I need two more. Gosh. Please have two down here. There we go. Now we're ready. <laughs> oh, he just jumped off. Oh, you jerk. How many more do I need of these? Can I just... I'm just gonna go. I'll come back for these if I need them. I'm just gonna go fight the bosses and live my best life. I'm so tired of these weak enemies. Alright, so I need level 10 for a new skill. Hopefully it doesn't suck as bad as the last one. The last one sucked, boy. I'm telling you, that was a lame power. If it hit, like, all these in, like, a row, that'd be one thing, but it hits literally one thing. Like, it is so whack. This power is so whack. That's, oh my god. Maybe use on a boss fight, but other than that, dude. I cannot see that being very useful. It does, like, four times damage, too. I could shoot four bullets by that. Get off me, please. Little mm. campers? God dang. Mm. Running into mana issues. Mm. 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 Mana potions don't give you much mana. Mana potions kind of suck. Alright, what do we got down here? Tons of slimes, baby! Oh my god, maybe too many slimes. What the heck? Screw this. We might die here. I 
guess the two key's good if you're like out of magic. Please stay off me. Maybe. Yeah. You can just like recharge while you're charging your thing, I guess. There we go. Now we're cooking with Crisco, boys. Alright, what we got now? Oh, what is this thing? Oh, it's mean, boy. And it shoots. What kind of creature is this? Probably not supposed to be here yet, but I'm tired of these quests, dog. They kind of hurt. Did I get a rabbit's head? Rabbit's foot. Okay. Well, that's about enough. I don't want to go too far. The DMZ. The Miller Tri Zone, for those who don't know. How many slimes do I have? Lime Jolly. 30. Uh, Alright, dudes. That DMZ looks pretty dangerous. They actually shoot back at you and all kinds of new things. I know the slimes downstairs spawn because I heard the door hit, so. What's my quest again? Yeah, I think I'm done with the slime jellies now. I just gotta get my rabbit stuff. Hey, rabbits. Give me your head. Oh, is that why she's saying it's brutal? Because I have to get a rabbit head? Is that why? Not because it's so many things. Dang, okay, not. <laughs> Camping rabbits. You wastly rabbits. Where do I get the rabbit head at? Is there like a rabbit overlord that has drops his head? Ooh. Huzzah! Alright, rabbit head. There we go, we got one. Oh, wow, that's tragic, dude. This game's got some dark undertones. We just killed this. Yeah, there you go. It's fine, it's fine, this is fine. Oh, hey, right. they bite you, dude. How could I feel bad for something that bites me? I can't. Quick answer. Alright. Quest completed. What level am I now? I one level until my next skill. Huzzah! Oh, another wonderful creation by Beretta. If this keeps up, I'll be out of a job soon. Oh, thanks, Professor. I just want to make a good impression. She's sucking up. She's sucking up. Grrr. <laughs> this is here's the mana healing potion. Ten of them this time. You can use D to use it and get a 50 MP. As with the health potions, sometimes monsters will drop them. If you run out of MP during battle and can't afford to stand still, just spam more pots. Okay, hurry along now, children, and go to your next lesson by Professor Shirley. Sorry, yes, sir. God, this one again. Uh, hello, students. I was supposed to prepare a lesson today, wasn't I? Uh, maybe some other time. I need to deal with pe some pesky paperwork. Talk to me tomorrow. <clears throat> no worries, Professor. I can take over if you like. Uh, don't bother. Go play amongst yourselves. The day is almost over anyways, but get out of my way, I'm busy. Uh oh, hi Beretta, you scared me. Hey, hey, let's go do something fun, I want to check out those weird animals over there. Uh, those are Professor Cannoli's Kelpies, I hear he plans to eat them. Oh, that's gross, those are like seahorse things, right? Yuck! Shh, don't let him hear you, he's sensitive. What's going on over there, nerds? Hi, Iska. We're just having a little chat, is all. Lucky here, it's Miss Suckup. No, that's you! Uh, okay, I admit, you're pretty good. I'm sorry for assuming you snuck in here, but I'm not giving up. To be fair, it's not that hard to be admitted. We are running out of funds, so we need it. So any extra students help. I think most people just don't know about Lunin and Asula. Good, I want it to stay that way. 
And you, Beretta, I hereby declare you as my rival. I will not give up. Excuse me? Can you hear me? We're now rivals, so we can't be nice to each other. <laughs> I don't think that's true, but sure, I'll be your rival. Good, I'm glad that's settled. Tell me about yourself, Beretta. We've never got a chance to probably talk to each other. Hmm, for one, I hate my name. It's so dumb. My parents are both weapon manufacturers, specifically guns and ammunition. My dad worked in a factory so long, he's been promoted to manager. That's how I got my name, too. My dad loves the stupid Beretta pistols. I wish they named me... Named to be something normal. Like AK-47? I think Beretta is a lovely name. Yeah, you could have been named something worse, even... Something even worse, like Professor Cannoli. Well, he does like to eat cannolis. He's not even Italian! <laughs> I have a pretty boring background. I was born and raised in Lycia. I quite like my parents. They're nice people. My parents are annoying. Ugh. Nah, uh, don't say that. I'm sure they care about you a lot. Or maybe not. They could just be assholes. I want to ask you for your opinion, Beretta. Stupid twin tails. At least I have normal magic, so why did you come here anyway? The last time a human discovered Lumin Luminensola was a century ago. I've always loved magic. I love exploring. Luminensola came to me in a dream one day, and I knew I just had to come. You, like, saw just saw the island in a dream? What? I did. I did. A lovely lady told me how to get here. Yeah. Uh-huh. Sure, buddy. You the chosen one, too, or something? Maybe. That's so romantic, Beretta. I wish I had a prophetic dream, but I'm just me, boring old Claire. You're the evil last boss, I already know. Oh, there's the bell. Okay, see so you in Professor Shirley's class tomorrow. I think. I just want to fight the bosses, bro. I just want to fight the bosses and win. I'm not here for the story. Actually, I do like the story. It's nice, but it's kind of... I'm here to kill things, honestly. What do I do now? Now that's nighttime. <laughs> do I sleep in the academy or my house? Or did a day already pass? Uh, it's you guys again. I'm not feeling it today either. Go talk to Professor Shellfield and learn some history or something. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, that's a lame subject. <laughs> oh, God. Make my day. You sound much better. Oh, I already talked to you. No, you. Are you Professor Sheffield, dude? Hello, class. My name is Professor Sheffield, and I will teach you the theory of magic. Uh, shut up, child. <laughs> this generation is so entitled and uneducated. Moving on. To understand the theory and application of magic, one must learn the history of the crab. I bet not a single one of your nincompoops know the founding of Elysia. Oh, oh, I know. Ah, oh, it's good, my child. Please enlighten the rest of these idiots with your knowledge. Basically, a long, long time ago, a magical island called Lulicia sprouted up, and it was inhabited by fairy people. These fairies lived in harmony with nature. One day, he must discover the island and try to take it over, but a great fairy named Eric Earl Koenig united us, his people to fend off the evil menace, and in doing so, he created the greatest city of Elysia. Exactly, Iska. Now that you understand our past, we must understand where our power comes from. Does anyone else want to explain? Claire? Um, uh, I, I guess I can do it. Embedded in this island are magic rocks called Lunite. No one really know, understands how they work, but we can channel the energy they provide into our magic. Precisely, and as and us fairies are even better at channeling the power of Lulincia than the dirty humans who can't bring out the la true power of Lunite. Good, I'm right here. I've been doing fine, thank you very much. Unfortunately, some have abused the power of Lunite with human inventions Bay Vivian knows all too well. Oh, I know about this. My mom told me that Lapyard City fairies use human technology alongside magic. My dad told said Lapyard City fair people aren't even fairies anymore. They're even all turned into humans. Ah, oh, children, you are all so much more knowledgeable than I thought. Maybe the future is in good hands. 
I know. Why don't we go visit Fairy Vivienne and he her have her explain the history of the evil city herself? She's the one who knows most about it, after all. Well, professor, are you sure? Fairy Vivienne is busy and all, and besides Beretta. Shh, don't say too much. It's decided. I shall arrange the field trip immediately. Class meet at Fay Vivian's office. You all know where it's, it is, right? It's in the upper buffs level of town. Alright. Right. I didn't even know uh, this letter went out for. What's up, homie? Oh, this is useless, dude. Hey, I'm the useless guy. What's up with all these humans? I have to get a really cool spell at 15. Ah, is the auto save feature so convenient? Well, if you're having trouble with potion management, try grinding some rabbits. They give lots of potions. I heard some people's dialogue changes after you beat the main story. Okay, good to know. Well, at least we won't miss that. Are you Vivian? Well, well, well. Look who it is, my little children. Good afternoon, favorite Vivian. You are all such well-behaved students. Professor Sheffield tells me that you are here to listen to my about the story of my cursed sister. Very well. Many years ago, when I was young, I was a student at Redwood Academy. I was a star student, of course, but my poor sister, Victoria, could never catch up. I, being the elder, would teach her magic spells, but she was helplessly poor at the craft. You sound jealous. Now Victoria herself was by no means stupid, but she lacked an ability she made up in knowledge. I bet she had the entire school library memorized. One day, my sister snapped. She took human knowledge and applied it to magecraft. However, when she used her method, the Lunite ores lost their energy permanently. That's horrible! Yes, it is. We Elysians let the magic replenish, but Victoria is robbing the Earth dry. The death of the Lunite ore produces an incredible amount of energy that Victoria used to convert into odd technological contraptions. I did what must be done. I reported my sister and she was expelled from Fail Redwood. Undaunted, she fled to the nearby town of Lapyard and spread her dangerous ideas there. She later became the chief of the town, which has now grown to Spell City by stealing the er energy from the earth. I hear it's doing quite well now, and you guys are falling to pieces because you're backwards. But be warned, children. You must never approach Lapyard City. They will kidnap you and suck you dry of your Drive magic. Is that why no one ever, yeah, one's ever been to Lapyard City since? Precisely. We haven't had contact with them in over 50 years, and I'd like to, like it to stay that way. I heard they have factories and facilities that are killing Lunisia. We have to stop that. Do not worry, my child. I have my methods. I will save Alicia and Lunisia. She's got a snake staff, so that's how you know she's evil. She's basically Jafar. Alright, class, that's enough. Faye Vivian is busy. We'll start mo tomorrow morning for your combat class with Professor Shirley. Finally, something practical. You didn't even see my gun. Look at my gun! Alessia truly is the best establishment on Lunisia. Look around and see all our wonderful accomplishments. Not like those damn barbarians to the south. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know you're evil. What's this? Oh, we're not supposed to go there yet. Oh, yeah. Wait, there was a building up there. Wait! The library? Yeah. Wow! I wonder why the library looks almost the same as the one in Lapford City. Have you been to Lapford City, friend? Because she memorized it. Ah. Oh. Ha ha ha! It's a throwback to what that one chick said. Ha ha ha! Oh god. Combat class, my favorite. Ah, uh, finally, I finished up the damn divorce papers. Huh. Huh. Oh. And I didn't say that. You know what? Let's have an extra challenge today. We're going to the outskirts of town. Professor, that's too dangerous. We also have a new student who's only been with us for a couple days. Ah, you guys will be great. They're out the forest, will ya? I think the monsters are getting dangerously close to town. Sorry, which forest? Aren't there like two? You'll find most of the monsters in Dark Forest 1 and 2. 
Maybe try the groves if there aren't enough. Fill out 25 walking pumpkins and bat. Bring me back the ice proof. Oh, and bring me tw 7 rabbit feet as well. I'll need all the luck I can with these damn papers. You have like, oh, I don't know, a fortnight to do this, so... Good, okay, good luck, have fun. Okay, dude. Just give me the quest to kill the bosses. I just want to kill the bosses. I don't need these fetch quests. I'm already strong enough. <laughs> My powers. Alright, pumpkin man. Ah, oh, you're screwed, dude. You can't even camp right, because your head's too big. And you jump for some reason. How many of these do I need to kill? Five. Oh, this is Dark Force 1. We need to find Dark Force 2. Yeah. Oh, these are bats. I didn't know. Okay, cool. I thought that was... It's batty. What was I supposed to do? Seven rabbit feet. Oh, and I just gotta kill the pumpkins. I like that. I don't like have to... I gotta find rabbits somewhere. I wonder if that past world is linked to the other world. I think. I don't know. There's not enough pumpkins! Please! Oh, I was coming for the ladder. I am the ladder! At least there's crit. That's kind of nice. Oh, almost out of magic. Da, da. Oh, it's a freaking. What is this? It's not working. Okay. Ghostbusters. That's more useful than the other thing, for sure. It's like a power drill, bro. That's kind of cool. Still another thing where you can't move while you're shooting, so it's kind of not very applicable to boss fights. But, whatever. Who needs to move when you can just kill? Better than two, for sure. But level 15 is when I get the OP thing, supposedly. Oh, oh I'm dying. They actually hit pretty hard. Or you're not supposed to get hit, but I suck. Ha 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 ha. Do I already have rabbit foot, actually? I probably do. Uh, rabbit feet. I need one. Wow. Thanks, game. Wow. Wow, game. <sighs> I can get back to my terrific voice acting. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm not very good at it. Plus, there's a ton of female characters, which is hard. My voice is too manly. Wow! Give me a rabbit foot. Give me your foot! Oh my god, really? Really, though? I didn't even see the name in the top right until I got to the dark forest, honestly. Maybe if I shoot him with a regular thing, they'll drop him more likely. I don't know. There it is. Whoop, there it is. Do you know, Mr. Bunny? Mr. Fluffle Wuffigus? My level up is starting to slow very much. I think I only leveled once this mission. Do do. 15 must be the last level. God, I'm gonna be done with all the quests before I hit my last level, bro. Maybe that's intentional, so you have all your skills before you fight the bosses. Maybe. Or maybe not. Hey, your girl, I did it. Hey, wow, good job, Beretta. You finished a lot faster than the other smocks. Maybe I was wrong about you. P Professor, I haven't seen Iska for the past 25 hours. Is this gonna get dark? Is Iska dead? That'd be sad. Maybe she's taking a break. Iska's never skipped school before, and the last time I saw her was in Dark Force 2. She may be in danger. Claire's right. Iska's in trouble. Oh no. What? I just realized Goga has been released recently. Damn it! Goga's our resident troll. Literally, he goes around and sprouts cat crap until Fabi Vian is forced to lock him up. And as soon as he lets out, he's let out, he starts all over again. Last time he was caught trying to steal some poor woman's panties. He seemed really penitent, so Fabi Vian went easy on him. What a shameless act. I've been telling Fabi Vian to just, just kill him for ages, but she refuses because Goga's apparently a cultural artifact. Oh, fart. Ah, I did see Goga in Dark Force 2 recently. We have to go rescue Iska. No, 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 not you. Us. I'll know if I pay BB in immediately. I got this. Come with me, Claire. Too easy. Hopefully he didn't kill Iska. That'd be freaking tragic, dog. Oh my god. 
Not the soon dare. Wow. Dark horse too, huh? Magic it. Why is he not magicing? There we go. We'll get hit. Ah, oh, dang it. Jump more, please. Da, 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 da. Oh my god, dude. Please. Please. Stop it. Oh my god. Ho, 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 ho. Oh my god. I couldn't get. Oh my god. What happens? If I have to start all over, I'm gonna be fucking. Da 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 da. Well, where am I? Peace now, child. It's not your time. You have more to do. You must go back. I will revive you. Yes, ma'am. I'll try. I'll take your money and experiments as payment for another life. Wait, wait. What? No, no. Tell me meet again, Beretta. God dang. We're not. We're not going away from the one skill no more. She took my money and my XP. I had money. Where did I have money? What? Oh, I did have money! Uh, I, don't, I don't need it for anything anyways, I don't think. Ah, right, god dang it. Yeah, I will say, the other skills in this game are pretty much trash. <laughs> I'm just gonna put that out there. 3 one, of course, has its purposes if you're fighting like a whole room of things, but... I mean, this shoots fast enough, and it's useful. You can actually shoot it when... I guess it takes a lot of magic though, so maybe that's the downfall fall to the obviously superior weapon. If you pause, apparently you can't use the S key though, that's good to know. I learned that the hard way, apparently. Tragic. You don't seem to regenerate health at all either, so you kinda have to use your health pods. Is that Grogu? Is that you? What are you? Oh hell. What's up dude? Queen! Excuse me? Queen? Don't tell me this brickhead kidnapped Etska. You are no queen! If you're fairy! Are you literally a troll? I already have a queen! Together, she and I will call the weak and replenish the good fairy race. Classical music, magic, and fairy culture are literally the two pillars that can even give Alicia any national identity whatsoever. Hmm, it's like liberalism turns society into a multi-culty swamp of individuals empowered by the necessity of becoming a cog in the vast machine of surplus and production constantly being bearing the tension of ethnic and social identity against the homogenizing, borderless, and human market of which we take by somehow. What the hell? <laughs> Little Gogo was a chad, but also kind of a psycho. I remember in first grade, the teacher was reading a story and I could see the girl in front of me I pulled on her pigtails until she screamed and screamed. Alright, enough of this. Give Iska back. Oh, okay. Oh, he jumps. Oh, heck, what's that attack? Do I need to get away from him? Is that the... Oh. Oh, what the hell? Okay, he hurt. He snagged, he attacked. He probably killed me, but... Let's see. You son of a... <laughs> that attack is so useless. Got him. It does some damage though. Just so bad. Ooh. Yeah, why would I just do that? He's dead. Easy. Dummy. Beretta, thank you so much for saving me. I was just so caught up in trying to beat you that I pushed myself a little too far. At least she's not dead. It's okay. I'm glad. Just glad you're safe. I'm so happy right now. Freda, Claire, I love you both. Okay, guys, I'm sorry for getting political. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just got worked up. Sometimes there's normal Gurga and some angry Goga. And they don't think the same way, okay? I'm not sorry for my feelings. I'm sorry for spouting them needlessly. It's good Claire, Beretta, Fabian Vianna's here. We already got it sorted out. Well, I'll be. You really are something special, Beretta. I'm glad everyone is safe. It's true, Beretta's amazing. This is enough to finally kill that damn goblin, right? I vote the death penalty as well. That's enough, Beretta. Yes, ma'am. Your magic is dangerous. It's too close to lapidary yardian tricks. 
I cannot let you continue your education, Redwood, lest you corrupt our youth. No, Faye Vivian, please. I don't set up the energy of Lunencia. I use the same techniques as everyone else. I have sensed less magic in Alicia recently. It must be a coincidence, please. Professor Shirley, Claire, Alitska, tell her I'm good. Uh oh. I'm so sorry, Beretta, but we can't disobey Fabi Vivier. I'm so, so sorry. Don't worry, I know how much you love magic. I will send you a recommendation later for the magic school in Lapierre City. Chief Victoria is my secret sister, after all. Come pick up your letter in my office later. You gonna try to kill me? Boss fight. I'm ready. Alicia Watchman. Hey, you pink haired girl, you aren't allowed to go there or orders from Faye Vivian yourself. Are you serious? Ugh, fine. Why? That's she wants to get rid of me anyways. Why would she give orders for me not to go? Oh god, dude. <laughs> There's so many, bro. I don't think that's good. <laughs> Alright, dude. There we go. Yeah, it takes a lot of potions in this game for sure. I was starting to get up trying to do different voices. No! No, how could this be? And he took all my money, boy. I had so much money. I could buy like unlimited health potions, god dang it. Oh well. Oh, I can level up real quick. Wrong too. That Grogu guy wasn't too bad. He did a ton of damage though. Alright, give me this thing that you dinged off. Welcome, Beretta. Please reconsider. I love Redwood. I love Alicia. I would never turn in it into Lapyard City. You must understand, Beretta. The city comes first, then you. I'm part of the city. Sometimes we must sacrifice ourselves for the greater good. My decision is final. Here's your letter. It has my seal. Give it to Chief Victoria in Lapyard City. She will take care of you. Didn't you just tell my class what a terrible person she was? I might have exaggerated a little bit. In the end, she's still my sister. Alright, let's go. Now do I just go to the place I was at earlier? Pretty much. Game? Huh? You just made me come back so I can go back out there? Let me buy some potions real quick, because obviously I can't dodge all those bad shots. It's probably impossible, actually. Is it the autosave feature convenient? Yes, it is. Well, I don't know why I need it, because that one girl just brought me back to life like crazy. How do I buy this? Space. Ah, I don't see your conveniently explained, uh, keys now game. Ha 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 ha. Guess you forgot to tell me about that one. And I used my brain like a normal person and hit the space key after reading. Without the dialogue being, hey, you need to use these keys to play the game. <laughs> but it is nice that they do that, I guess. Hey you prick here, girl, you are are you serious? What? I have the- what the f- Wait a second now. What am I supposed to do? Quest. Beyond the Force of the South. Oh, I don't know, dude. Whatever. Is this not the Force of the South? I don't know. Whatever. I guess we'll go the other way. I'll show her on the best switch. Not. Take me, I guess. <laughs> Stupid snails. Snails, slugs, and automobiles. Shotgun is what she's gonna use. I think she has an AK though. Maybe I should do an anime review on Desert Punk. That's a pretty amazing anime. Definitely not for all audiences. <sighs> I 
The DMZ. Watch this be not the right way either, and that'll be extra super lost. Our magic boys. He's shooting backwards. God, I wish I could do that. Wow. What a sneaky beaky boy. Oh, there's multiple. Oh, I'm about to die. Ooh. I like shooting backwards and stuff. Oh, look at the smog ridden city of Lapyard. Oh, look at the damn rabbits camping in the damn thing. Alright, guys, get out of there. Is 27 the max potion you can have? I just picked up like 12. Hey, dudes, what are you doing? Stop looking at that wall. Oh, there's just. Oh, Lord, they're everywhere. I wish I could buy a new gun, as well as have new skills. That'd be kind of cool. Right? In this case, I want me to go get some stuff when I get here. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab it. Because there doesn't seem to be any more enemies. Hi! What on earth does DMZ stand for? Dematerialized out or Yeah. The school they told me it meant demilitarized zone. I wonder if the same meaning holds here. It's the magic zone, probably. Oh man, Chief Victoria always looks amazing. Like she has more lines than the rest of us. Ah, the pixels. Advanced pixel work. Oh god, what the hell? Welcome to our wonderful city, Beretta. Hello, Chief Victoria. I'm from Alicia. Well, I, got, I kind of got kicked out, but here's a letter talking, telling me that I'm good fit for your school. To be honest, I'd still rather go back, but I'll prove myself good enough for both schools. Oops, maybe I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> oh, I see. Looking, looks like my poor sister's delusions got the best of her again. Oh boy, so when do I start? <laughs> That idiot thinks she can just waltz right in and expect me to trust her. No, not after what she stole from me last time. Oh, uh, what? Tell me, what are you really here for? Become a witch. Well, gun witch, I hate to tell you, but we stopped traditional magic schools a while ago. Seems Vivian is sadly out of touch. W what? Of course we still use magic, but we combine that with less about science and technology. Poor Vivi is still stuck in the past. That's okay, I guess. Less cool, but it'll be okay as long as I don't have to learn the math. Yeah, like hell I'm letting our you into our schools to steal our technology. What the heck, man? I don't know what Vivian has told you about our separation, but let me just set the record straight. I was the victim. I came up with the new and advanced way to use Lunite, but Vivian couldn't take it. She stole my technologies and lied to get me expelled. How else do you think she gets all the energy to fuel her research facilities? What the hell are you talking about? Oh yeah, it probably wouldn't be wise to reveal the existence of those buildings. You look stupid enough. Maybe you aren't a spy. Thank you. Wait, that's so rude. I'll put you into a little test. Uh, not another one. Up your city is the most important thing to, in, to me in the entire world. I would give my life for this city. And I could not do it without the help of my three trusty advisors. If you can help Cabbage Counter and Mandy and earn their trust, I will help accept you into our great city and school. Thank you. I will start with Cabbage. She's in charge of finance. You can find her in the market center. Oh, dang. Are you Cabbage? Is it just me or are the advisors a little bit crazy? Oh god. I wonder why the library looks almost exactly like the same one in Alicia. Where's the advisor at? Are you an advisor? It's math time, baby! Oh god. We're not doing math. <laughs> Apparently. She hates math almost as much as I do. Ah. Ah, so that's the situation. Well, sorry about this. All this Chief Victoria can be a bit paranoid after it. All this happened, which truly really means for us all. I love her, like my mom. Hmm, what do I want you to help me with? Oh, I know. Can you do some pest control? Those damn brats keep getting into our houses. And sometimes even kill, steal things. Kill like about 200 of those critters. No, not the cute bats. Or find some other way to get rid of them. Come talk to me when you figured it out. What? 
Alright, I did it. Oh my god. Where are they at? Rabbits are multiplying like rabbits. Where am I supposed to go to get rid of these stupid bats? Fuse. I don't want to kill 200 bats. That's a long time. Okay, this is a desolate place. How do I put this bat repellent out? Out. Oh, maybe I can give that to her after I buy it. I don't know. Do you want this bat repellent? That I bought immediately. Oh, thank you. This will be perfect. No longer will I wake up with two a spill trash can. Oops, excuse me, I'm the financial advisor, so I should probably make you revitalize the economy or something. Prices have been dropping everywhere, so the sellers can't make any money. So yeah, fix that stuff. How am I supposed to do that? Supply and demand, baby! What? Am I supposed to break their things? Through those other merchants, I have the only quality goods around this damn place. I guess I can try talking to the other people, blah 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 blah. I always buy 12 of each item just to make sure I extra extra sure I have enough when I get home. Hmm, artificial scarcity, huh? I hear you heard you can cause that by buying more up uh, more items. I think we have way too much of bread. Every shop has always has a section for that. You can fix dropping prices by introducing artificial scarcity. What do you mean, I don't know what I'm talking about? Trust me, I'm an economist. Want me to buy all the bread? I don't know. Ooh, -hoo, very impressive. Oh, is that sourdough? I love sourdough. Okay, okay, one final request. Buy me dinner. Excuse me, but what? You heard me. Buy me dinner. What do you want? Hey, there's the rub. You've been really been genuine. You would know what I want for dinner. Now, Chop Chop, hurry up. What do you want me to buy? Cabbage? Carrots? Turnips? Turnips for what? Oh, yeah. Brenda, you know me so well. I love cabbages. They're the best. One of the most economical foods out there. My parents named me cabbage because we had this cabbage soup almost every day. That's terrible, dude. I'm sorry. Brings back memories. I trust you, Brenda. I trust you completely. Tell Chief Victoria you have my approval. Uh, I do have... I have to go back and forth every time. Oh, yeah. Uh, that quest sucked, actually. Hey! Um, I'm not too surprised. Cabbage is really easy to deal with. Congratulations on earning your trust. Lots of hurt. I'm not through with you. Go to Kana, the supervisor of the school system. Be warned, though. She's a little eccentric. Oh, God. Here we go. Math. Math time. Boss fight. Uh. Who the hell are you? My name is Breda. I've been sent on a mission to Chief Victoria to help the school and earn new trust. Oh, excellent. I always wanted more help around here. Say, aren't you a little young to be managing the schools here? You look about my age. How kind of you. A woman has her secrets. <laughs> I guess the first thing you can do is recover my lesson plans. 
Couldn't you be a little more responsible? I have no idea where they are. I've been everywhere in Lapyard City to escort some mines. My kids are going to be so mad at me. Please give me something to go off of. They could be anywhere. How am I supposed to teach science without my cheat sheet? Oh yeah, you can interact with objects by pressing F. Isn't that a nice first lesson? Maybe the kids don't think her too. God. Miss Connor often falls asleep in the library on the wooden desk. Library, huh? Miss Connor. Okay. That's probably in the library. What you got? Yeah, library. Been everywhere. Except the damn library where she stays, apparently. Oh, my nose is getting so stuffed up. There's some sheets snuggled between the big books. Ah, Kana's her name. Kana's name. Better bring these back to her. Oh, yes. Go for quest. Oh, my God. That's all this game is. Go for quest. Oh, thank you, thank you. Now I can educate Lapper City's young minds. We cool now, then? Hmm, not quite. I still don't really trust your vibe. How about this? Our schools are always running out of textbooks. The standard issue is buying from 10 years ago. Can you donate about 5,000 lunas to buy a new one? What the hell? I don't got that kind of money. I literally just deinflated your market. Better cough it up if you want to gain any damn respect around here. Look, buddy. If you need help with money, I hear the bats and useless machines are loaded. Maybe try grinding them for a bit. Oh my god. Oh my god. 5,000 money, boy? Uh, I just, I literally just deinflated your stupid market. God dang it. Okay, whatever. Get off me. God, I hate that. Oh, get off me. Do I have now? Oh, hell, dude. Mm -hmm. I gotta blow my nose. Freaking time. What's up, dude? Oh. Need 5,000? God dang, dude. Edward Elric. These Sam Gollum's really run it, ruining our mining operations out here. Hey, dude. That's probably the last advisor, I'm guessing. God dang, boy. A ton of money. Yeah, this isn't what I thought. I thought this was going to be like a challenging boy in whole game, which is not what this is. This is like a go for quest RPG with some abilities. It's not bad. It's just not. Uh, I don't know. Not great. Not super fun. Go for quest are not my favorite thing. And that's all this game is. I've had one boss fight, which was like kind of okay. God, my nose is killing me so bad. I think I've done more reading than anything in this game. <laughs> it takes forever. Okay, good. Thank you. You too. Bye.
Yay! That's a negative for the COVID. I can leave my damn room, bro. I've been quarantining for god dang. About three days now. Jesus. Negative, baby! Hey! Oh, that's good, at least. I'm gonna make me something to eat now. God dang. Horrible. Usually I'm like introverted anyway, so I don't go out too much, but damn, I'm not leaving the room because it's not really old. Do I have the food, the stuff yet? Jesus. Oh my god, still now. Oh, do do do. Oh, I got my new ability. Sick. Oh, yeah, that's pretty strong. It's actually useful. I can use it while running. Wow. Amazing. Where's your god now? Do I have enough yet? Oh, God. Almost. So close. Do do do. Now I should have more than enough. God dang. Well, this is the last Elijah Burn. I asked me for no money. You better not ask me for no money. Go, girl. God dang it. Freaking bums. Do do. Alright. Oh, you better not ask me for no more money either, god dang it. Fine, here's the money. Oh, brilliant. Thank you for the gesture, but we don't actually need it. Did you actually think Chick Victoria wouldn't fund the most important institution for the training of young scientists? You got state of the art everything. Oh, I see. So it was a test. Yep, you passed. Good job. Okay, okay. Now we're done. One last thing. The chief cares more about their city than anything. The students are the most important thing to me in the entire world. If you can demonstrate your kindness to my kiddos, you will have earned my respect. Yesterday, we took a field trip to the mines, and little Sarah over there dropped her prized possession. Can you find me and bring it back here? Ah, oh, dang it. Sarah. This kind of often falls asleep on the library. Is that all you have to say? Okay, ah, dang it. Ah. I just killed so many things in the mines, bro. Maybe I already have it, you think? Check something. No, those are screws. God dang, okay. Well, oh, there it is. Ooh, that was easy, I guess. Pick it up. E. E? F? Could this be Sarah's doll? Well, I'll take it back and see. No, of course not. There's another doll. Really, you have the bark from some true educator. Alright, you have my approval. Go back to Chief Victoria. Okay. Okay. Oh god, I hit the all key. It's a tragic mistake. Hey, you helped the kids out too. Good job. Maybe you aren't a spy after all. Well, my last advisor is and the chief of operation research, who's probably the most important in the Black Yard City next to me. You can go get on her side. Then you're golden. You got it, lady. Please never say that again. This will probably be the second boss fight with gold. Alright, let's save. Just in case, like, the game closes for some dumb reason. Oh, wait, the mine's up top, right? God dang. Let's do this. Yo, girl. You want me to kill that boss? Hello, Beretta. My name is Mandy, and I'm the director of Lapyard City's Lunite Research Efforts. H Hello. No need to be in such a rush. Sit down, have a breather. Right now, I'm overseeing our mining efforts. I see. Your task is a very simple one. Get rid of all these useless machines in the mining area. Killing a hundred should do. They keep attacking my miners. 
Long our progress down to a halt. When you're done with this useless machine, so see if you can do anything about that golem. We can't ex excavate any further because on his territory. Once he's gone, we'll be able to access his fast supply of blue knight. Uh, is, isn't that stealing? Blue knight belongs to all. That golem has no more right to it than the rest of us. Oh, that's messed up. Alright, let's go kill him, I guess. Have I not already killed a hundred of these or just saved a hundred more? Arr, my rocks, get out of my cave! Oh, I knew it. Oh, same attack as the last guy, actually. Oh, that's different. Oh, hell. Okay. This time you die! Can I just hold the A button? Yes. <laughs> You're so doomed, bro. That was easy. Poor guy. Second boss down, baby! Alright, we did it. Hooray. These same golems really ruin it. Oh no. We didn't do it yet, I guess. God dang. 14. Why couldn't have this been a quest when I was getting all the money? Not much skill in this evolved at all. It's just you hold the, the A key and you can press the S key every now and then if you need to heal. Maybe D key. Uh, please don't give me any more go for quest after this one before the final boss. I just want to fight the final boss, to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm tired of the go for quest. Max level yet? Look, I'll make sure you get to max level by making you do these gopher quests. I probably could have beat the game with just a one key, to be honest with you. Without even getting any stronger, this game was probably beatable. Because the attacks aren't like anything wild. That laser beam one's pretty hard to dodge, but. Yeah, I mean, nothing super special. Only 36 more to go. Hooray. Oh, yes. Who's next? Maybe I'll cut out the grinding parts. Yeah. Make the video a lot shorter. I don't know though, because somebody might need to see where something's at. I don't know. We'll see. Wow, spirit bomb! Yay. Alright. Two. One more, baby. There we go. And we're done. Alright. Done. Bobby, I signed you the task that I thought was impossible. The golem had been bothering us for years. You are truly incredible, Bretta. Ah, shucks. I trust you completely. You have now shown an incredible amount of kindness and bravery for, bravery for your lapyard city and her people. Let me at least reward you with the reason for our establishments. You likely learned in Alicia that our meth has destroyed Lunis Insula's magic. Yeah, that's like not cool. While well, that is true, the energy extract that the extraction yields provides way more power than what any of Alicia's mages can produce. The entire island has been losing energy for centuries by utilizing the extreme output that the death of Blue Knight provides. We can research a way to create synthetic Blue Knight in a way we are saving the island, not destroying it. 
the Nemesia is dying. I hate that game. No way, I've been such a good mage. I let the Lunite Overs regenerate. Indeed, but do not fret, child. Our science and technology will prevail. All thanks to Chief Victoria's brilliant mind and great efforts that our research has come so far. Without her initial method, we could have no progress. How close are you now? We're close, so very close, especially now that you got rid of that pesky golem for us. You have my recommendation. Go see Chief Victoria and welcome to our wonderful city. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Save just in case there's like a multiple ending where I have to choose between the two cities and who's telling the truth. Hey, oh girl, I did it. Welcome, I see that Mandy has given you her endorsement. That sells it. Come join our ranks. You're welcome to our school and city. I'm terribly sorry for the rough introduction you've seen. Vivian and I had such a rough past. She's tried to send spies before to steal my technology, but I find them every time and lock them up. I know Vivian's too fond of her own cities to business and couldn't continue condemning them to the cells. I can't believe they Vivian would do that. She would never she says she would never stoop to your level. I'm sure my sister is scheming something. Your Victoria, Elysium mages were spotted outside outskirts with lap lapiardian guns. I also have a message from Pompe Vivian. She says to send back Beretta immediately. What? Are we under attack? Out, out, now get the hell out of my city, Beretta. No, 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 please, I didn't do anything, I swear. Leave. What the fuck? What the? Why? Oh my god. I'm getting passed around like a goddamn. <laughs> oh lord. Okay. Whatever. Get out my way, rabbits. Ah. Alright, now I'll probably go up to that one area so I can go to earlier. I'm the chosen one! Stop treating the chosen one like crap! How about that? Ah, oh, dude. That dude. I didn't do anything! Huh, <laughs> dingus rabbit. Alrighty, we're almost to the end. One more boss fight. What do you want? What do you want? Remember, we have to talk to everybody once we get done with the main storyline. Everybody? I don't know about everybody. I'll talk to most of the people. <laughs> what do you want, dude? Welcome back, Beretta. What the hell, Vivian? That was unexpected. We even made some hot chocolate for your return. What's the matter? You know exactly what the issue is. You stole Chief Victoria's magic again. Uh, I see the problem. It looks like you've fallen under Victoria's brainwashing. Nevertheless, I am extending you a full invitation back to Redwood Academy. Your classmates are waiting for you. No, fight me. Unless you truly is. Oh, God. Fight me! Uh, what's up, guys? Get out of my way, I'm busy. Brad, I'm so, so sorry. Welcome back. What's with the gloomy faces? I thought you guys would be happy. We are. I have to tell her. No, what the hell? We can't. Brad, we set you up. Claire. That's Faye Vivian's plan from the beginning. She said you were the perfect spy, being an outsider and all. We bugged you. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. You're super upset, I understand, but it was the only way Faye Vivienne would let you stay. She said it was for the greater good of Lysia. Yeah, you've grown on us, Beretta. Even if you are a filthy human. This is a lot to take in. But it's okay, what's done is done. What? Excuse me? You're not bad? Well, a little, but that's not important right now. What's important is that we have to set things right. Faye Vivienne stole from Chief Victoria and lied to us again. No way! 
this way. The reason you guys hate each other is because Lucy and Lapeard City haven't had any real de contact in decades. They, 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 they said they just suck all the magic out of us. They, 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 and this, they, 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 and that. What's her beef with Lapeard City anyways? Face me, I don't think Vivian is innocent in all this either. I think they both have their reasons for what they're doing. We have to fix this. Uh, I just wish they, Vivian and Chief Victoria would just talk to each other again. I learned in Lapeard City that Lucia is dying. We have to work together to save it. N no way. But we're replenishing the magic. Come on, you guys. I'm not going to... Through why this is happening, but I did learn something from Redwood Academy. Let's hit the buzz. Maybe we can learn a little something from the history. There's gotta be something to reconcile Fave of Vienna and Chief Victoria here, or we could just fight them. You know? You feel me? Ah, just fight both of them. There it is. There's the book. Hmm, this biography of Fave of Vienna says it's that she's from up north. I don't think I've heard of any cities beyond Lizzie and Lapeard City. I've only heard in legends, but there's supposedly an ancient race of, race of ancient fairies in the mountains beyond Dark Forest too. But Fay Viviana's band traveled there. It's, it's too dangerous. Look at me, I couldn't even handle a little troll. And that's where I've gotta go. I think the key to Lithia's past lies there. Uh, are you sure, Brenna? It's awfully dangerous after you just got back. Can't you be happy with what we have right now? I am, but I want to do everything I can first. What's the point in living if you don't give it your all? Brad is right, Claire. We've been too complacent in everything. Be the change that you want us to see in the world. Yar, haha. <laughs> That's the spirit. Let's go up north. Let's save Alicia. God dang. God dang. I get some gopher quest. God dang up north, Alicia. I'm <laughs> I'll be so sad. I like when you're running across and you can just build up a wave of bullets to kill everything. That's pretty nice. I like that. Just like bug splats him when it gets across. That's pretty neat. I dig it. The upgrade's good. Okay, the guards didn't stop me this time. How convenient. It's like they know I'm coming to save the world. Now I'm gonna get attacked by the Jafar lady. Jafar! Oh god, no! Our village gets smaller every year. Would you like some food? You seem cold. Ah, travelers! <gasps> huh? Uh, hello? Let's try someone else. This guy's really not feeling it today. Apparently, you need to have a certain level of dex to get to the top of the mountain. <laughs> oh god, no! Platforming! The first bit of platforming in the game! How could this have happened? Wow! Oh, that was easy. Wow. Uh-oh. Am I dead? Bugs. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Oh, hell. Oh, hell. Jumped off the map! Oh, thank God. Thank God for a safe feature. I would have... Oh, I would have thrown my... Freaking something. Not my computer. Computer's too expensive. I would have thrown something. I don't know what it would have been. Oh, I was going, oh my lord. I felt my blood pressure just rise like a ton. That was tragic. What is with these floating stupid things, boy? Okay, we're here. Top of the mountain. Hooray. Oh man, that was almost so tragic. What's up, Dragon Man? Oh, oh. What do you want, dude? Okay. Is I not supposed to go up here yet? Oh. Oh, this is dumb. Do I have to go back down? Wait a second, quest log. Oh no! I got up here for nothing! Hey. Sorry about that. Isaiah doesn't talk much days. He doesn't feel well. I already talked to her. That's so stupid. I had to talk to the old man before I talked. That's so dumb. Who are you guys anyways? I've never seen your face around here in my entire life. Name's Beretta. I'm Claire. 
Let's go, what's it to ya? We were to put it into a dumb feud up between the cities to the south. Ah, I've heard stories about civilizations below us, so they are true. And we've only heard legends about you guys. I can't believe you're real. I don't have the power to do anything, and neither does anyone else in this village. Every year, our numbers dwindle. That's not true. I think you guys have information. Information on what? I've only ever known these mountains. Have you heard of anyone called Victoria or Vivian? Yes, Ishiya. Ishiyahi said the rain away from there here a long time ago, but he refuses to say anything else. He's sick right now, though. How about this? You buy me the ingredients, I'll make you soup. It's a Crystal Peaks recipe. Guaranteed to cure any eels. Sure thing, what do you need? Oh my god. Oh my god. Also bring a pumpkin head. I love the seeds. I'll handle the spot. Oh my god. Are you kidding me, dude? Oh my god. Oh my god. I've already been to the dragon. I know you're gonna send me to the dragon. Stop playing games. God dang it. Oh, this is absolute outrageous. This is outrageous bullcrap. <laughs> I was there. I was ready to fight the dragon. I had made it to the top of the mountain. I'm definitely going to just cut out the grindy parts. I'll probably like go to the area and then I'll cut out the rest of it so you guys can see where the area is at. Oh, God dang. They spawn faster if I leave and come back again. Pumpkin head acquired. Now I need one more mine, please. God dang, dude. At least you keep your previous items, it's not like, except for the heads. The heads you don't get until you get the quest, but like other things, you can have like a plethora of leveling up if you wanted to grind, which I don't. I think it's not hard enough to need to grind. I guess there is no like hidden boss, it's just the dragon at the end. It said there's three bosses. Like three unique boss fights. I know. That's, uh, Unique's, uh, <laughs> being generous, I think. Okay, that should be enough vines. Now I just need... Ah, dang bat wings. One bat wing. Okay, we're there, pretty much. Drop it. There it is. Okay, let's go back. Yay, backtracking. Perfect, here's the soup. Good luck. What do I need that for? Now let's give this to Yashi so he can give us a sick plot dump. Delicious. It's almost like my mother used to make. Oh, my name's Freda. These are my friends Claire and Iska. We've come to learn. To We've come from Alicia to learn about the Fae, past of Fae Vivian and Chief Victoria. Ugh. Those two troublemakers. What are they up to now? They seem to really hate each other for no good reason. We've come to set things right between them. Well, why? Let them have their spats. Kids will be kids. I well, like grown women. They're kids with huge influence over their cities and people. Lunencia Sula is in big trouble, and the only way to save it is to work together, not apart. Uh -huh. Looks like must, but not much has changed over the century. This is no laughing matter. You barged in asking for my advice. Now listen to me. You remind me of my daughters all those years ago, bright and optimistic. And of course, adventurous. The daughters? Indeed, my daughters, Vivian and Victoria, two lovely babies, two robust children. They were very, both fiercely competitive, but in the good way. It's a shame to hear how it went so sour. 
Two exceptional mages. I told them to stay here, but they left without telling me. Said something about saving the island. They're doing it wrong. Oh, they had plenty of ideas, all right. Say, how do you, you know how Lunite ores work? Yes, a fairy used a special connection with... Up right there! A fairy. Well, humans can do it too. It's just harder. Just like a Bretta. When humans do it, ores, Lunite ores lose their magic forever. Then, then I'm the problem? Let me tell you a little story. Long, long ago, the land of Lunisia emerged from the ocean floor. The island was inhabited by a special race called people called fairies. Oh, I've heard this before. We've learned about it in our Theory of Magic class. These fairies were able to utilize the mysterious energy that Lunite Ores provided to perform delightful magic, and every year the power of Lunisia grew. Then one day... And one day, a group of humans discovered the islands. They came in blazing in with their fire sticks and explosions to capture the power of the island. A great warrior named Elk Koenig united his people. A great warrior named Errol Koenig united his people to fight off the menace. Unfortunately, he quickly died in battle. That's how Alicia... Wait, what? That's not how it goes. The humans laughed and laughed and quickly drove the ancient fairies out of the forest and into the snowy mountains. They learned the techniques of the fairies and settled into what is now today as Elysia. Then what you're saying is... Elysia is inhabited by humans. Flapyard City is full of humans. The fairies are gone. Fairies are gone! So that's why the island has been declining. Exactly. The island has been losing energy ever since the humans arrived. Only very few of us fairies are actually left now. On the girl's 16th birthday, I told them this story, and they were distraught. They were confident they co that they could save Lunisia, the island that they loved so much. They left without telling me and went to Redwood Academy to research methods into reviving the Lunite Ores. Victoria was the weaker mage, but she was more resourceful, more clever. Vivian holds much potential, but she is too strong-headed, too stubborn. I don't know what happened, but Redwood Academy changed them. They became blinded by the single-minded ambition. No longer were they rivals, but enemies. Instead of working together like they ha always had, they split. One stayed and one left. They came up with their own methods of mitigating the magic drain and drowned themselves in work. I want to know what happened just as much as you. I don't understand their damn obsession with their stupid cities for my daughters. I just want to talk to them again. I never wanted to save Lunensia. I just wanted my daughters to be happy. Listen carefully, girls. This is one challenge that my daughters never surpassed. And that is the Cave of Memories. On top of this mountain lies a cave where the heart of the island is said to dwell. Perhaps, perhaps you could discover the secret to save Lunessa there. Maybe that way my daughters in their futile attempts to save Lunessa will come back to me. Got it. We'll go up the mountain climbing immediately. If it were that easy, my daughters would have the answers already. No, there is a guard dragon guarding the cave. If you slay the dragon, you will have bested the power, fine power of Victoria and Viviane. Claire, it's good. Let's go. Oh, uh, whatever. I don't know. Stupid dragon. I've already been up here. So I'm gonna... I'm on fire. <laughs> God dang. I've already done this. I've been to the top of the mountain. I've fought the dragon. I haven't fought the dragon. The dragon won't fight me because he sucks. He's scared of me. Let's see if it's changed. You want to fight, boy? Ah! Hey, dude. Ah, actual bullet hell mechanics. Can you believe it? Oh, I got me. Oh, that hurt. But it doesn't matter, because I have unlimited heals. Ah ha ha ha. That's gonna hurt. Ow, damn it. Oh, damn, that's hard. Okay. Ah, just take my money. I don't care. Oh my god, I got- Oh, fudge, dude. I should just save. I need to save up there, and then when I die, I can just... Oh! That was hard. Huh. I was doing too much. I just need to out heal him and just sit there and shoot him to death, obviously. It's 
some of those bullet hell patterns are really, I don't know if they're dodgeable. Because it's just like, some of them go to the ground where they're like, the there's an open path on each of them, it looks like. But some of them, the open path is too small for her to fit through because you don't have a crouch button. And you can only go to the ground, so. I think you just have to outheal it to shoot him to death. And that's what you do. That's what I do. Save. Because I'm not walking all the way back up here. I should save when I get to the top, actually. So I don't have to do this stupid platforming thing every time. Smart. Big smart. God darn it. Boom. <laughs> oh. Alright, now you die. I don't even know why I need to save. I'm just going out heal him to death. If it works, I don't know. Yeah, that one I can dodge by going out there. That one I can probably dodge too. And I will! Ha ha ha. That one would be really hard to dodge. I don't know if I can dodge that one actually. I won't heal! Oh, well, that sucked. You wouldn't let me heal. Oh, I ran out of healing potions. Ah. Ah, hell, I'm supposed to go to the main menu. Whoops. Whoopsie! Alright. Alright, all potions. Okay, so don't spam as much as I was doing. I was obviously over spamming it. I was like, why is it not healing? Uh oh, not using my attack. What? He crit me. Okay. <laughs> he crit me. <laughs> he was doing 60 damage and then all of a sudden he did more. That's crazy. That's funny. <laughs> oh, hey, dude. Ah, oh, hell, I used one. Ah, he does more damage on certain attacks. That's wild, dude. Alright, I'm getting a little bit too... I just need to spam the D and the S key. Ah. I'm not grinding. I refuse. I can beat him. I refuse. Boom! I am the best! Me! The greatest! Wow, I can really feel the magic in this place. Alright. F key. Indeed, well done, Beretta. You know, I've seen you before in my dreams when I died. Seems I was not mistaken. You truly are amazing. I guess I am what you might call a representation of Lunetsia, love. Oh, great. And powerful representation of Lunisola. Tell me how to prevent the death of Lunisola. Unfortunately, there is nothing to stop the death of the island. However, you can slow the decline. You must stop the incessant squabbles of Victoria and Mibian and their attempts to save Lunisola. They have quickened her death. Because they think they'll find a solution one day. 
and that is for sinking. Just as the moon waxes and wanes, so too does the Lamentius rises and falls in power. Do you want me to just tell him to give up? Sometimes it is smarter to accept your fate than fight it. Oh, but I can't accept this either. Surely with your power you could save the island. You called me here, didn't you? Why couldn't you just stop the humans from showing up? Fate flows like a river. I can adjust the stream, but I cannot divert the water. Do not look sad, Greta. I am sure Lumenzo will exist for your children and your children's children. What about after that? Like a river, they will learn to adapt. My power wanes. Fellow Greta. Thank you for coming to our wonderful island. I know what I have to do. Come, girls. We're going back to Redwood Academy. Great. Great. B E A beautiful. Well, at least we killed the dragon. That's good stuff. Did I just drop here. Oh. Wow, 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 wow. It's cold. Apparently, you need a certain. Yeah. Ah, travelers. Okay. And like so, we cheese as a dragon and we live halfway ever after. As intended by the fates. Alright. What's up, girl? This year truly is the best establishment of Lunitsla. Wait, I. What? Oh, okay. Start my plan in Redwood Academy, I guess. What did you have on my Bretta? What do Faye, Vivian, and Chief Victoria live, love most in their worlds? Their cities. If we want them to stop fighting, we just need to take them away. We're going to bomb Alicia? That's a little extreme, don't you think? No, no, no. We as the children of Alicia we'll just need to boycott Redwood. We don't learn anything. We won't be able to continue the traditions of Alicia. Oh, I see. I'll go to go tell Kana to do the same with Chief Victoria. Tell her I sent you. Let's meet in Faye Vivian's office when everyone's ready. Iska and I will rally up the students here. Hey, do we do it? Get out of my way. I'm busy. All right, we're going to Faye Vivian's office now, I guess. Wow, we did it! Hooray! Great success. Sure. Hey, we did the thing. What is the meaning of this, Bretta? We're all gonna quit unless you make up with your sister. How dare you! Victoria's wronged me over and over again with her delusions and factories. You take down re your research facilities too. Yeah, Bretta told us everything! You two are whack! Just stop trying, it'll miss making things worse. Even if you don't believe me, my friends do. You have to stop in this madness. Let Lenusa will dry gracefully. Huh. I'm surprised you accepted this so easily. Weren't you just prancing on and on about saving magic and doing the right thing earlier? That might be true, but even I know when to give up. I love magic and I want to be able to enjoy it. I want everyone to live in harmony and share this amazing gift. You're so concerned about saving magic that you can't appreciate what it is anymore. Sometimes things are beautiful because they disappear. Very well, I will make things up with Chief Victoria. Apologizes for her actions. Excuse me, Chief Victoria says she will make up with Faye Vivian apologizes for her actions. God dang it. Ugh. <laughs> this is just like old times, huh? Wow, that's the first time I've heard of Elia. This is our way of reconciliation. Very well, I've stopped the factories and reconnect our cities. It worked! This thanks to everyone's support. I suppose in the past century I have become more foolish than I thought. Thank you, Beretta, and everyone for forcing me to look past our such silly grudges. Yay, okay, baby, Abby, Abby, let's go back to class now. Hi. Oh my god. And then after we beat the game, there's hidden dialogue that we have to go do. More backtracking! More backtracking! This game is a backtracking game. God dang. Awesome, well, that ends well, huh? Yeah, it still sucks that magic won't last forever, but we just have to do the best with what we have. Yes, kids, life. Let's have a lesson. A fun practical one for Edda would like. Let's see. Hmm. How do you feel about killing some goblins in Dark First 2? No! Alright, let's go get the cre everything after the credits. So, 
I like the sprites. I like that they attempted a story. It was a pretty good story. It's just really generic. Really generic story. Nothing like mind blowing. Um, yeah, I like the sprites. Um, I did not like the fetch quest, which is most of the game. There wasn't much bullet hell either. The only thing that was close to a bullet hell fight was the dragon. And he wasn't hard because of the bullets were hard to dodge. He was hard because of the damage and the lack of space that you have in certain areas. But you could just cheese him like I did. Let's load. Let's see what she got to say. Brother, you truly are amazing. Now that the island has died, my past concerns seem so foolish. Oh, let's not worry about that for now. Let's go monster hunting. No trolls, though. Uh, so Lunencio's doomed, huh? That's unfortunate, but I'm glad we got to spend time together. These dialogues are not. Maybe <laughs> be uh, so mysterious. I've been looking. Uh, the same thing, bro. Is there anybody else I need to talk to? No, we're all humans, but at least the, the divorce is done. Good for you. Right, uh, thank you for bringing together a century of conflict. I might not edit out the farm scenes. I might just put timestamps. Well, it looks like our relationship with the people are. Up north are fine now, thanks to you. Oh, thanks, old man. What do you guys got to say? Anything new? Nothing. Right. I'm not going to talk to all the regular people. I'm gonna say, let's see what he's got to say. Nope. Same. Okay, let's talk to Vivian and then the people in the other city. I'm not going to the top. I don't think. Maybe I will. Right, well, thank you for everything. You're welcome here in Felicia forever and more. Talking with my sister again brings back such fond memories. I remember she found a dragon egg all the way in the crystal plank and co wanted to cook it. Huh? Huh? You got anything else to say or is that it? Alright, let's go to the mountaintop and see if they say the same thing. Probably. I don't think they changed too much. Besides the people with sprites. They did change the old man professor. But... Did I talk to Goo Goo too, or Gogu, or whatever his stupid name is? New Game Plus, with actual bullet hell mechanics. Oh. Hey. Ah, oh, travelers. I'm astonished you did it. I hope my daughters are happy. Can you tell them to visit me someday? Okay, I guess I can do that. Oh god, I went the wrong way. Oh, what's up, Gogu? Me no like a human. No, 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 no. Me no reporty. Okay, whatever, dude. Whatever, whatever. I'm so hungry right now. I'll start. I guess I'll edit the video. Well, I'm not gonna edit it too much. Actually, I'll probably just leave it and then, like I said, put timestamps in later. So if people just want to skip to the dialogue or I don't know, that's a lot of timestamps. I might just leave it as is, and people can just skip on their own if they want to. Yep. That's the answer. All right, let's go to the other place. Yeah, this is definitely more of an RPG than a bullet hell game because like you know how in RPGs you have like those meaningless battles? This is basically the same thing with shooting. There's no like difficult bullet hell mechanics, it's just like pointless fights until you get to the like, next dialogue. Yeah, very much an RPG game. What's up, Cabbage? Hey, you gonna buy something or what? Bro, you don't even say anything different, Cabbage? You got a sprite, pixel thing, and everything. It's math time, baby. These guys didn't even change. No, oh, maybe I wasn't supposed to go back this far. I guess I'll check with the other one just in case, but I don't think so. Welcome back, Beretta. I'm so sorry for making you leave, and I want to thank you for bringing back my, my sister. I know it seems like nothing can be done. We'll continue our Lunite research efforts here in Lapert City in a collaboration with Faye Vivian. Perhaps we can discover a way to recover magic energy into five fate. Ah, uh, is that it? Is that it? 
payoff's not too great for beating this game either after playing it for like two hours. It's not bad. I'd give this game like a 5 out of 10. 4 out of 10. 4 out of 10. Because it's just a grind fest. I suppose I should tell you how the Lunite extraction process has always already worked. Basically, we're performing nuclear fission except with the magic power to our city. This is energy, then gets funneled into a supercomputer and computes millions of different compositions of Lunite. Eventually, we'll recreate the original. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching, as always. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye!